Hello, dear students. Welcome to your English lesson. Today's lesson is for grade five, and the topic is TV time. My name is Diana Vukadin, and I'll be your English teacher today. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to understand a text about television, and you'll be able to say a short text about watching television. For today's lesson, you'll need a notebook and a pencil, a laptop, tablet, or mobile phone, internet access, and a QR code reader. Please keep in mind that you can stop this video lesson anytime you want so that you can work at your own pace. Are you ready? Let's start then. What about you? How often do you watch TV? How many hours a day? Do you ever watch any English channels? Which ones? Do you have a TV in your bedroom? Let's take a look at some of vocabulary that we'll need for today's lesson. Let's start. What is this? That's right, it is a TV guide. What about this one? This is my favorite toy. Yes, you are right. It is a remote control or simply remote. And this picture? Excellent, TV channels, that's right. What is your favorite TV channel? What about these? Let's see. They are shows or programs. And the last one, what is it? Yes, everyone knows this one. It is a TV set. Great job, everyone. Please pause this video lesson now and try to do the matching into your notebooks, please. See you in a while. And let us check your answers. The first one, change the channel. Watch a show or program. Turn on or turn off the TV. Lose the remote control. And the last one is read a TV guide. Well done. Let's talk about TV programs now. I have a game for you. I am going to show you a picture. Can you recognize the TV program? Are you ready? Let's start with the first one. What is it? This is a music program. Let's try another one. What is it? A documentary. Well done. And this one? Yes, you already know this one. The news. Excellent. Do you recognize this one? Yes, it is a soap opera. And one more. What about this one? Yes, you are right. It is a quiz show. Let us play some more. What about this one? Yes, it is a cartoon. What is your favorite cartoon? And this one? It is a cookery program. That's right. I've got one more. What is it? A sports program. Excellent. What about this one? This is my favorite sitcom. Yes. And one more. What is it? It is a film. Great job. Let's play some more. Copy bit.ly slash tv programs one 
into your browser or simply scan the QR code. Then you can play the matching game. Have fun and see you in a while. What kind of TV shows do these people watch? Number one, John likes programs about animals because they are educational. The second one, Peter wants to know what's happening in the world. This program is informative. Number three, Sarah is five and loves watching Tom and Jerry because they are entertaining. Number four, James likes to test his knowledge against the people on this show. Number five, Mary wants to learn how to cook. MasterChef is a popular show. Number six, Mia is sporty and loves basketball. Number seven, Daniel likes funny stories and actors. Then he laughs loudly. And the last one, Grandma never misses any of those Turkish episodes. They are addictive. Please pause this video lesson now and write the answers into your notebooks. See you in a while. Welcome back. Let's check your answers now. Here they are. Number one, a documentary. Number two, the news. Number three, a cartoon. Number four, a quiz show. Number five, a cookery program. Number six, a sports program. Number seven, a sitcom. And the last one is a soap opera. I'm sure you did well. And this is another game for you. Copy bit.ly slash TV adjectives into your browser or simply scan the QR code and play the game. Have fun. Welcome back. I have a writing task for you now. Pause the video lesson, copy the sentences into your notebooks and fill it in with the words scary, popular, informative, educational, entertaining, funny, or addictive. Pause the video lesson and see you in a while. Welcome back. Let us check your answers. Documentaries are educational. They often show you new things. Horror films are too scary for me. I can't watch them. Music programs are entertaining. I enjoy them. Cartoons and sitcoms are funny. We laugh when we watch them. The news is informative. We find out new information. Soap operas can be very addictive. Some people can't stop watching them. And the last one. Quiz shows are popular right now, and I always watch them. Great work, everyone. Let's talk about a TV guide. In the first part of the task, I need you to read a page from a TV guide and decide what you would like to watch today. Then talk to your classmate and compare your choices. These are some sentences that can help you. For example, my favorite channel is, and then explain why. My favorite TV program is, why? My least favorite channel is, and then explain why. And my least favorite TV program is, why? In the second part of this task, you can stop the video lesson and create your own fictional TV guide 
with your favorite TV shows on it. Have fun! Before we start reading the text about television, these are some words that we'll need. Would you please stop the video lesson and do the matching task into your notebooks? Pause the video now and see you in a while. That was easy, wasn't it? Let us check the answers now. So the first one, source, is what? Education, obrazovanje. Entertainment, zabava. Influence, utjecaj. Lower, niže. Fewer, manje. Be overweight, imati viška kilograma. Monitor, nadgledati. And finally, limit, ograničiti. That was excellent. The topic of the March issue of a school magazine is television. You will listen to our text, then you'll stop the video lesson and answer the questions into your notebooks. The questions are, what are Jan's favorite programs? What is his mom's favorite program? What are his father's favorite programs? Let's listen. I love watching cartoons. They're my favorite TV program. My sister and I are crazy about Phineas and Ferb. We often watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's a quiz show and it's educational. My mom likes watching music programs because they're entertaining. Her favorite show is The Voice. She always sings along. My father watches the news. He says it's very informative. He's also interested in sports programs. Every Sunday, there's a football match on TV. I think football matches are boring, but he enjoys them a lot. Pause the video lesson now and answer the questions. See you in a while. Welcome back. Let us check your answers. What are Jan's favorite programs? His favorite programs are cartoons and quiz shows. What is his mom's favorite program? Her favorite program is a music program. What are his father's favorite programs? His favorite programs are the news and sports programs. Well done, everyone. And here is the text if you would like to read it on your own. There is another text about television in the school magazine, and this one is by our school psychologist, Mrs. Wilkinson. Let's read it together. Watching TV can be an excellent source of education and entertainment for children. It can help them see faraway places and learn more about the world. However, it may also influence them in a bad way. Children who watch a lot of television are likely to have lower grades in school, read fewer books, exercise less, be overweight. That's why it is wise to monitor and limit the time children spend watching TV. Here are some ideas for parents. Keep the TV set out of the children's bedrooms. Turn off all screens during meals. Don't let your child watch TV while doing homework. For the next task, you will have to stop the video lesson, copy the table into your notebooks, and then fill in the table with the good and bad sides of watching TV and with the advanced. Pause the lesson now and see you in a while. Welcome back. Let us check your answers. Good sides. 
TV is a source of education and entertainment. We can see faraway places and learn more about the world. The bedsides. Children can have lower grades. Read fewer books. Exercise less. And be overweight. And finally, the advice. Parents should monitor and limit the time children spend watching TV. They should keep the TV set out of the bedrooms and turn off screens during meals and homework time. It's your turn now. Let's talk about TV. Talk for a minute about television. These are some questions that can help you. How often do you watch TV? When and where do you usually watch TV? Do you watch TV while eating your meals or doing your homework? What kind of programs do you like watching? Why? Is watching TV good or bad for you? Explain why. Do you have a TV in your bedroom? Can you improve your English by watching TV? Explain. Record your voice and send it to your teacher. You can use your mobile phone or Vocaroo and Flipgrid. Have fun! If you want to play some more, this is a game for you. It is called Find Somebody Who. Talk to your classmates and find at least one person for each question. Have fun! And it's time to check your progress. I can name types of TV programs. I can describe TV programs using adjectives. I can understand text about watching television. I can say a short text about watching television. Put a tick under the right heading. This is the end of today's lesson. Thank you all for being so active and see you some other time. Bye.